Andy McCarthy, Fox News contributor, former federal prosecutor. Andy, um, James Comey, at least prior to his firing, always enjoyed a reputation as something of a Boy Scout uh, in the FBI, a guy who was always upholding the law. This report would seem to suggest otherwise. Well, certainly he became a law unto himself. You know, he obviously uh, thinks that he has a, had a good reason for it. But here's something, John, I've never been able to understand. Uh, he was Jim Comey. He had a very big public profile. Uh, he was no longer FBI director once he was removed by President Trump. Why leak government records? You know, you're Jim Comey. You could go out to the sidewalk and convene a press conference, and he could have said whatever he wanted to say in terms of how badly he thought a special counsel was needed and why. It's never been clear to me, and I, I've yet to hear a rationale, even if you accepted everything he's saying about that, you know, he didn't think the, the Justice Department was trustworthy. And, you know, and nobody who's worked at the Justice Department gets to make that call. So it's very presumptuous on his part mm. to do that. But what I, what I continue to be mystified by was why do it this way? Why leak internal government information, regardless of whether it was classified or not? You don't get to do that. It's not your information to do or to, to leak. Right, and but he I... was a private citizen at that point, and if he thought that the government should appoint a special counsel, he could easily have just convened a press conference and said so, and it would have had a lot of impact. This IG's report makes that point that there were other avenues available to him if he wanted to do that besides taking this, these FBI memos, giving them to his friend, the Columbia professor, and letting the friend leak them to the press. We're beginning to get lawmaker response. If everybody with us can stand by, Andy McCarthy, Bob Bianchi, Catherine Herridge, of course, digging through the report.